guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back and if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe to this channel my name is Adion Chibise I film about sewing fashion and lifestyle content basically so today's video is going to be about sewing with velvet making this top drafting a pattern and explaining how to sew it also I'll be letting you guys know the mistakes I made while sewing with velvet and while making this top because we all know how tricky it is to sew with velvet. If this is something you're interested in, let us get right into this video. Thank you. Do, do, do. So I have drafted my basic bodice pattern off camera. If you don't know how to draft a basic bodice pattern, you can visit my previous videos before this to learn how to draft a basic bodice pattern. So now this is my basic bodice pattern. I've added my dark intake. I've added my sewing allowance. So I've done every single thing I need to do on a basic bodice pattern. So now let's start adding our measurements. My under bust is 29 inches. So 29 divided by 4 is 7.25. I'm just adding that on my under bust line. So the many measurements I have left like our measuring i'm going to share it on my dart on that under bust measure under bust line so my main measurement is 1.2 so 1.2 divided by 2 0 0.6 so i'm just adding 0 0.6 to each side so now i'm ruling it up after you use your curve driller to curve it to your bust point So you can just follow this process step by step or you have to watch it all over like watch it more than twice in order to get it to remember so now i measure the middle of my shoulder point so that's where i'm marking it up to my bust point i measure the middle of my shoulder to achieve that line so you mark the line to your bust point after that, I'm going to measure round my bust point with the measurement of my bust to under bust, which is 3 inches. So I'm just going to measure 3 inches round from my bust point. So now I'm going to increase my dart on my shoulder to bust line. I'm putting 0 0.5 inches on my center front and 1 inch on my side front. So I'll just roll it to my bust point. As I use your curve driller to cover out the line in order to form a curved line and prevent sharp edges. So just follow what I'm doing. And I'm adding an extra 0 0.4 inches on both sides of my darts in order to prevent gaping or any excess fabric at my bust. So still curve it out after doing that. So now I'm just using my pink marker to mark out where I'm cutting out. So because I want my chest line to be a little bit high and curvy on the center front, I'm using my curve driller to mark out how I want it to be. So this dart we took on this bust to shoulder line, we're going to add it back on our chest line because when we cut our pattern, in order not to be short of fabric, so we need to add every dart and take back. So I'm just adding my 2 inches allowance. Anyhow your pattern is looking, just leave it that way. When you join everything together, it will come together at the end of the day. So now I'm just cutting my pattern paper out. So there after, because I want the ending of my top to be a little bit curvy, I'm just adding some curves to it. So any way you want yours to be, you can just do that on your pattern paper. So now I'm just cutting my pattern pieces out. Keep 
careful when you're cutting on the curved parts so just cut where the pink marker is so this is how our pattern is already looking like Now it's time to draft the back pattern. I'm not taking my shoulder to bust. I'm not doing that on this place. I'm just taking my chest line, bust point and waist and my top length. So I'm not taking the unnecessary measurements here. So now I'm going to rule my horizontal line. So that's my top length, my waist line and my bust then my chest line so know that chest line is the same thing as where your ammo is going to curve that line i hope you understand what i said sorry that my camera couldn't show that part i'm just reading my zipper allowance my one inch zipper allowance so now i'm just going to increase my dart my four inches the same nipple to nipple four inches we are doing that on the back also so just through your line and taking your dart So now I'm just taking my vertical measurements, my bust, my waist, my hip. Yeah, I measured my hip too so that I'll be able to get my top length curve. So just connect your dots. So I'm just using my front pattern to check out my back pattern since I didn't draw the whole shoulder line and shoulder to bust all this. So I'm just using my front pattern to check it out and make sure they are the same length. So because of the curve that I put in front, I'm just using my back, my front piece to mark out the same measurement on my back piece. So now I'm just trying to remove my any bulging from my back. I'm going in on my waistline by 0.5 inch. So you can go in by more depending on how curvy your back is. So I'm so sorry I cut off that part. I didn't know my camera wasn't showing that part. So now I want my back to be a little bit curvy. Any shape you want your back to be, you can just draft that out so now i'm adding 0 0.2 inches on both sides of this that on my bust line and drafting it out just to make my back a little bit tighter so i'm just using my pink ruler to mark out where i'm just going to cut out so that's what i'm doing now to make it visible for you guys Please label your pattern pieces so that you won't mix them up when you are joining them together. So these are my pattern pieces. So 
So I'll be using a velvet fabric. An original velvet needs to have these lines on it. Just say, tell them Korea velvet instead of China velvet when you want to buy in the market. So now I'm cutting out my pattern pieces. So many times when we cut out our fabric, they are not always equal. Like now my center front is 3.5 inches and my side front is about 3.2 inches so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to add the 0 0.2 missing measurement on my fabric so i'm adding the 0 0.2 then covering it back to my to the end of my pattern piece so now i'm just going to cut it out please add enough allowance on your pattern pieces To sew it together so this is my pattern pieces i've already cut them out and this is how they are looking like and i've cut out my lining with it also so now i've ironed my estate on my fabric i doubled my estate on my front piece so you can do this on all your own pattern i didn't do that because my estate wasn't enough so please double your estate on your fab on your pattern pieces so the length of this is double my chest line. I cut it on fold and I also put my SD in it. So just do the same also. Then after I've already gathered it in front of my front piece and I've turned it with my SD. This is how the back is looking with my SD turned. Everything. So now I'm just going to join my front piece with my back piece. So I've already imputed my zipper on my back piece. You see my back is bulging and that's because I just used one SD, single layer of SD. This place is our chest line. This line here that you can see is our chest line. So to get this place, just measure from your chest line to your neck depth. Like the three inches are going to come down your neck. So just the inches you have there is what you're going to use to cut out the length of this so it doesn't pass your neck or it's not too long or too short basically so that's how to get this then for my strap so from that three inches to so from that three inches to your shoulder is going to be three inches actually so three the three inches plus the inches at the back to your chest line at the back so our chest line at the back is like from our shoulder to our chest line is 8 inches, so the 8 inches plus the 3 inches is going to be 11 inches. So the 11 inches is going to be the length of our strap. So that 11 inches is going to be, if you don't understand what I'm saying, I'm still going to re-explain it in my video. So. Mm. so this is the back of my top. So now I'll be explaining some mistakes I made while sewing this top or basically sewing with velvet. We all know how tricky it is to sew with velvet and because velvet is a little bit stretchy and when sewing stretchy fabric, it can be really tasking. So majorly, I glued my estate on my velvet. I glued my estate twice, even though I didn't do it for the back because my estate wasn't enough. But for the front, I glued my estate, I doubled the estate on the velvet, fab on the velvet fabric and it was stronger actually so double your sd when stitching when um sewing with velvet to make it at least stand a little it's better than using just a layer of sd just make it two layers also when sewing, i don't know about other people but me i noticed that when i'm sewing with velvet i prefer using a stretchy lining under why this is because for this top I didn't use a stretchy lining and we can actually see a little bit a little things wrong with this top because it is a little bit folding it doesn't look um it doesn't look fitted on my body even though it looks fitted but it could be more fitted and better than the way it looks and this is because I used a 
cutting lining is not and cutting lining are not stretchy so it will be better to use a stretchy lining because all this place with the lining will have stretched out into your body and you will maybe reduce your measurement by an inch so that it will stretch out for your body and it will be fitted so basically then another another mistake i made while sewing this or while i was sewing with velvet was that instead of me when i noticed that ah my lining is not stretchy and my velvet fabric is stretchy then in order to just make it fitted my body i had to stretch my velvet a little bit at the side and stretching this velvet a little bit made it have some lines let me give you an example so for instance i don't know if it's this side okay i think it's this side i stretch my bust part but i didn't stretch this up part so we can see what is happening now this place is looking to be folded right place is looking stretchy so majorly that's what is going to happen when you stretch your velvet with a lining that is not stretchy majorly so i think this are that's just everything majorly and if you want to use boning for years you can go ahead but i didn't use boning for this but i think if i had used boning to have stretched out a little bit of it lab i don't know sure but you can use boning if you also want to use boning but and you can just decide to use only sd if you like so it's not really compulsory there's Thank you so much for watching this video. If this video was helpful, please let me know in the comment section. And if there are other things you want me to do on this channel, let me also know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. Mwah.